good morning everybody today we shall learn an example from a duopoly model of kurnot okay under kurnot duopoly model each firm maximizes its output keeping the other output constant and each firm has its own reaction function how these reaction function are drawn how output is maximized how profit is maximized keeping the other output constant these things we have to see in this example now the condition of a equilibrium in the pure note model is there are two firms and condition of equilibrium is for one del pi 1 by del q1 equal to del r1 by del q1 minus del c1 by del q1 equal to 0 or for first zero qualities this is mr equal to mr1 equal to mc1 for second zero polished del pi 2 by del q 2 equal to del r 2 by del q 2 minus del c 2 by del q 2 equal to m r 2 equal to m c 2. This is the first order condition and second order condition is the second order condition is del square pi 1 del q 1 square negative and del square pi 2 by del q 2 square must be negative. These two conditions are satisfied okay? and with this uh, two condition we draw their reaction function for q1 and q2. How this can be drawn we shall see here. So, therefore, this uh, you see the example demand curve is given P equal to 100 minus 0 0.5 Q and there are two firms their output is Q1 and Q2, Q equal to Q1 and Q2. So, first uh, we have to that is called uh, pi 1 for uh, duo poly 1. for duo polished one pi 1 equal to p q 1 equal to p demand curve is given that is 100 minus 0 0.5 q1 q2 q1 plus q2 q2 
this is pi 1 equal to p into q 1, p into q 1 minus this is c 1 equal to phi p 1 equal to 100 q 1 0 0.5 q 1 square minus 0 0.5 q 1 q 2 q 1 q 2 minus 5 q 1 equal to 95 q 1 minus 0 0.5 q 1 square minus 0 0.5 q 1 q 2 this is pi 1 pi 1. Now, now differentiating with respect to partially differentiating with respect to q 1 partially differentiating with respect to q 1. This will be del pi 1 by del q 1 equal to 95 minus q 1 minus 0 0.5 q 2 minus you differentiate it this will be 95 0 0.5 partial derivative with respect to q 1 this will be q 1 only and this will be 0 0.5 q 2 ok. Now, by first order condition now by first order condition now by first order condition that is del pi 1 del pi 1 by del del pi 1 by del q 1 equal to 0. Then this term will be 95 minus q 1 minus 0 0.5 q 2 equal to 0. Okay, right. Then, then we have to find out the value of q1. Then 95 minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5 q2 equal to q1, or q1 equal to 95 minus 0 0.5 q 2 this is the first reaction function or you can say that this one is reaction function of a duopolis Okay. For uh, simplicity, I am writing here. For simplicity, I am writing here that is q1 equal to for memory, I am writing here 95 minus 0 0.5 q1 
Q2. Q2. This is reaction function of duopoly 1. Similarly, we can find similarly we can find reaction function of duopoly 2 that will be del pi 2 del pi 2 by del q2 okay so this will be 100 minus 0 0.5 q1 plus q2 and you multiply it with q2 minus and c2 this is a 0 0.5 q2 square q2 square this will be 100 this will be 100 minus 0 0.5 q1 q2 minus 0 0.5 q2 square minus 0 0.5 q2 square uh, 0 0.5 this one q2 q2 equal to 100 q2 minus 0 0.5 q1 q2 minus 0 0.5 this will be q2 square and differentiating this will be value of del by del pi 2 by del q2 equal to this will be 100 minus you are we are differentiating with respect to q2 therefore this will be 0 0.5 q1 and this will be 2 q2 hence by condition of a uh, first order condition del pi 2 by del q2 equal to 0 this term will be 100 minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 q1 0 0.5 q1 minus 2 q2 equal to 0 right and this will be this will be equal to we have we have to find the value of q2 therefore you can write it or 100 minus 0 0.5 q1 equal to 2 q2 or q2 equal to 100 minus 0 0.5 q1 by 2 or q2 equal to 50 minus 5 0 0.5 to 0 point 25 q1 and this one is a reaction function this one is reaction function a reaction function of a duopoly 2 okay now we have two reaction functions now we have two reaction functions now we have two reaction function first is q1 q1 equal to 95 minus 0 0.5 q2 and q2 is equal to 50 minus 0 0.25 q1 
this is a reaction function of a duopolist one and this one is a reaction function of a duopolist two. Now we have to find out the value of q1 and q2 if we, if we can substitute the value of q2 in reaction function of geopolis 1 then what will happen substituting substituting the value of q2 in a reaction function 1 this will be q1 equal to 95 minus 0 0.5 q2 and q2 is here given 50 minus 0 0.25 q1 okay now solving it then q1 equal to 95 minus 0 0.5 into 50 plus 0 0.5 into 0 0.25 q1 then q1 equal to 95 minus 25 plus if you multiply this 0 0.125 q1 or if you, you take this value this one to so left hand side so q1 minus 0 0.125 q1 equal to 95 this value is 90 this will be 0 and uh, 9 minus 2 7 70 or if you subtract it this will be equal to or 1 minus 0 0.125 q1 equal to 70 or if you subtract it 0 0.875 q1 equal to 70 okay then we have to find the we have to find out the value of q1 then q1 equal to 70 divided by 0 0.875 you solve it this will be equal to 70330 by 875 you solve it this will be equal to 1337 uh, 35 to 525 this will be 1 to 24 okay and uh, you solve it again with 5 3 you solve it again this will be this will be 5 1 and uh, 3 70 uh, 37 35 
then 5 again 5 3 is a 15 to 25 35 and this will be 2 4 8 0 0 now you have the value 2 8 0 0 divided by 35 then again you solve it 5 5 7 ja 35 and 5 5 ja 25 3 30 5 6 ja 30 equal to 80 okay now you have got the value of q1 equal to 80 q1 equal to 80 got got it now substituting the value of q1 substituting the value of q1 then in a reaction function 2 reaction function 2 where your reaction function 2 and your reaction function 2 is reaction function 2 is 2 is 2 is here 2 is a uh, 50 minus 0 point 50 minus 0 point 25 q 1 50 minus 0 point 25 q 1 this one is q 2 equal to 50 minus 0 point 25 q 2 Hmm. Uh, Q1 sorry 0 0.25 Q1 okay now Q1 equal to 80, then Q2 equal to 50 minus 0 0.25 into 80 equal to 50. Then Q2 equal to 50 minus 0 0.25 into 80 equal to 50 minus 0 0.25 into 80 8 5 are 40 4 4 5 are 8 6 uh, 16 of 4 20 okay and this will be uh, this will be 20 then 50 minus 20 equal to 30 q2 equal to 30 we have got two value q1 equal to 80 and q2 equal to 30 now 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 the second order condition is also satisfied. Now you have to find out you have got two value q1 and q2 p1 p1 what is the value of the p1 this p1 equal to p1 p1 equal to this will be or p equal to you can say p p equal to p equal to 100 minus 0 0.5 q 
equal to 100 minus 0 0.5 and this is q1 plus q2 equal to 80 plus 30 equal to 100 minus 0 0.5 110. You solve it, this will be 100 minus 0 0.5, this will be 55. Then P equal to 45. You have got the value of P. Okay? Now you have to find out pi 1 and pi 2. That is first you have find the value of the MR1 and MR2 and pi 1 and pi 2. Then MR1, MR1 equal to del R1 by del P1 equal to equal to first function that is this is PQ R equal to PQ by P1 del R1 by del P1. equal to P1 plus Q first function, second function and del R by del Q equal to P equal to 45 plus Q equal to 80 and this value is 0 0.5. You solve it, you will get it 45 plus 80 equal to how much? 5, 125. Okay. MR2 equal to del R2 by del P2 equal to P plus q del r del r by del q equal to p is 45 and q is 30 into 0 0.5 and this will be 45 plus 15 equal to 60. We have got the value of MR1 equal to 125, MR2 equal to 60. Now we have to find out the value of uh, pi 1 and pi 2, pi 1 and pi 2. pi 1 equal to p q 1 p q 1 minus minus c 1 ok. So, p is 45 and q 1 equal to 80 uh, minus c 1 minus c 1 equal to 5 q 1. So, 5 into 80 equal to uh, now we have information that is q 1 80 q 2 30 p equal to 45 right. 
now uh, we have to find out pi 1 then pi 1 equal to p q minus c and this is given p q equal to 45 into 80 minus c is the value of c c 1 c 1 is phi q 1 and phi q 1 and q value of q 1 is that is 80 equal to minus four hundred equal to three two zero zero. This is pi one. Pi one equal to three thousand two hundred. Similarly, you shall find the value of pi two, pi two. This is pi one. pi 1 equal to 3 to 0 0. Now, pi 2 equal to p q minus c c 2 equal to p is 45 and q 2 c q 2 q 2 equal to 30 and C2 is 0 0.5 Q2 square that is 30 square equal to 135 0 minus 0 0.5 and this will be value 900 equal to 1350 minus 450 equal to 0, 0, 3, 4, 9, 900. This is pi 2 equal to 900. We have got all the values and what we draw the conclusion? The conclusion is that a the duopolist whose uh, marginal revenue margins, uh, we have to draw also marginal of revenue Wait. and marginal revenue MR1 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 del R by del q1 equal to p plus q del r by del q1 equal to p is 45 plus 80 into 0 0.5 equal to 45 plus 45 uh, sorry 40 plus 40, 40 equal to 85 and MR2 MR2 equal to P plus Q2 del R del Q2 equal to 45 plus 30 into 0 0.5 equal to 0 0.5. You solve it, it will be equal to 
फोर्टी फाइव प्लस थर्टी फिफ्टीन इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन देन यू हैव गॉट द वैल्यू एम आर वन इक्वल टू एटी फाइव एम आर टू इक्वल टू सिक्सटी नाउ वट कंक्लूजन यू ड्रॉ द फर्म द फर्म विस्ट विथ लोवेस्ट आउटपुट द फर्म हुज मार्जिनल रेवन्यू इज लोअर आउटपुट ऑल्सो लोअर तो दिस इज अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टू डिओ पॉलिश जस्ट आई गिव एन यू दिस एग्जाम्पल एंड वी हैव ड्रॉन द रिएक्शन फंक्शन वी कैन ऑल्सो ड्रॉ द रिएक्शन फंक्शन ऑफ दिस बट वी शैल डिस्कस द फर्दर इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच